but it's been phenomenal family time. It's a wonderful life! Spending more time with her dad is like the best thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> but really, we don't fight that often. Stop! Aww. Ow! Yeah, I'm Anything so <laughs>and welcome to the vlog. It is a beautiful sunny morning today and I am just trying to live happy actually and it's really not that hard when the sun's out all the time. So I've been laying out here sort of just meditating on this yoga mat for the past 10 minutes and it's glorious. The kids are still sleeping which is fairly typical these days. It is about 10:30 and um, Mike was doing some work this morning. I'm not sure what today has entailed. I do know that there's schoolwork that needs to be done. I do, oh, is that Edward? That looks like a, a shadow on my teeth. There we go, ah, how about that? Is that better? Wait, wait, there we go. I know there's schoolwork that needs to be done. I have some work that needs to be done. Mike does too, but it's a beautiful sunny day and we're hoping to be able to do something else fun today. So stay tuned to find out what that's going to be. And you never know how our day is going to unfold. We've been here now for just over six weeks. So for those of you who are just tuning in, uh, we are in quarantine in Florida at my parents' house. They got stuck in Pennsylvania and we needed to get out of Dodge because, or wanted to, to kind of, because our kids were, um, uh, at the time, geez, it was the end of March and quarantine had just started to be kind of a thing and they didn't want people hanging out with groups of more than 10. And our kids were still wanting to hang out with their friends and really thought it would be better to just isolate. And at the very same time, my parents um, were looking for someone to come out and hang out. So we came down to Florida. So we've been here, like I say, for a, just over six weeks now. We thought we were coming down just for about a week, maybe two. So we brought t-shirts and bathing suits and that was it. And here we are, six weeks later. So it actually has been a blessing for us to be down here. Um, not only to be able to quarantine or, or self-isolate or whatever you call that, um, but it's been phenomenal family time. And um, the sunshine has certainly kept our spirits up. We have a pool here in the backyard. So um, Brennan and Mike can continue uh, their workout regimen. You know, I've seen so many people on Facebook and on Instagram post memes about like, at the end of this quarantine, I'm either gonna be really unhealthy or really healthy or all these different things that people are choosing to do on quarantine. And we're quite an athletic family and we've chosen to um, eat pretty healthy and work out. So we've done a lot of workouts. If you haven't seen our workout video, we already tried Katie's workout, click over there. That was fun. So we might do another workout video because we've just been doing all kinds of different ones. Like Brennan's been doing his water polo workouts. So we might try to do that with him. And I've been running and doing yoga and all kinds of different stuff. So um, it's been a, um, it's been a very interesting like discovery time, you know, these past six weeks. And all in all, I have to say it's gone really well. We, um, as a family, we generally, I mean, we have regular disagreements and that kind of thing like any family would, but really we don't fight that often or, or uh, that kind of thing. So we, we're really very good friends with each other. So that's been a blessing and very nice to do. I've probably talked way too long, but those are just my thoughts on our quarantine so far. I think I hear Brennan waking up. He is usually the first of the kids to get out of bed. So I think he is awake. So anyway, um, comment down below what your quarantine has been like. I understand it's everybody's, I heard someone say really well yesterday, we're all in the same storm but everyone's in a different boat. Which I think that's really true. Like some people are affected more than others. In America, it kind of is regionally, like depending on where you are regionally, but everybody's affected by jobs and all. Anyway, I don't wanna bring anybody down, but I'm just curious how your, your quarantine, like what have you been making lemons out of lemonade or making lemonade out of lemons? Have you been able to just sort of look at it and choose to do what you can control, because I think that's the important thing. I think as humans, we like to be in control of our own lives and, and our own decisions. So um, I highly recommend you guys, um, as we try to do as well, is realize what you can control 
and control that and help your um, help yourself feel like you're in control and feel like you are um, being productive and doing what you um, want to do and things that are gonna make your life happy and um, and others as well so I'm curious to hear what you've been up to I love hearing stories of inspiration and maybe by sharing those stories with others maybe some who um, are having a tough time might learn something from us or from you <clears throat> in terms of how they might make their lives better during this time and in the future so anyway so share down below we'd love to see it and stay tuned to find out what the rest of our day uh, is going to entail Okay. All right, you guys. Oops. All right, everybody. I stand corrected. It was not Brennan. It's Katie who's awake. Yay, Katie. How do you have a good sleep? Yes. What you got going on? I need to do two different assignments for Gov. I need to finish something for chemistry and I need to do something for ASL. Oh my goodness sake. Actually, okay, so I have one unfinished assignment for Gov and then one that I haven't started. Okay. So I've started two of the assignments <laughs> that I need to finish and I haven't started two of them. Okay. If that makes sense. Okay. Where are you going to work? You're going to work outside on the table? Yes. In the beautiful weather? Yes. That sounds like a good idea. All right. Making eggs first, I think. Is that what you're making? Mm-hmm. Okay. Enjoy your eggs. The key is put a little bit of oil on there and a lot of butter. <laughs> no. If you put the oil on there so the butter doesn't uh, burn, then you just meow. Look at that. Beautiful. It is beautiful. Kate, I was just talking to our friends about quarantine and sort of some of the lessons I've learned or sort of my thoughts on being down here for six weeks with our family. Do you have any uh, comments, thoughts? Not, not necessarily what you've learned, but just things about being here with your family or... He's learned that her dad is awesome. Yeah, spending more time with her dad is like the best thing ever. <laughs> Ow! Um, I've learned that... Uh, I have really bad luck when it comes to cards. Okay. <laughs> this is the worst egg I've ever cracked in my life. Oh. Oh no, there's a fat shell right there. Oh no. Oh. There you go. Good job, Kate. <laughs> oh, is this about like the family or is this about myself? Just sort of everything. I've learned that if I'm um, persistent in doing something, that I can do it. Yes. Very because good. I hate running. I still do, by the way. My mom was like, if you like, if you keep running, you're going to blah, blah, blah. You're going to start to like it. And I've been doing it for like six days now. Still don't like it. But. <laughs> um, I love that, Kate. That's, good. That's a good one. That Thanks. is a good I'm one. I'm going to keep doing it because I've noticed that like, if I don't do it, then I'm going to be angry at myself for not doing it. So I'm just like, you know what? I'll do it. Let's do it. Good for you. That's Thanks. awesome. Appreciate it. Congratulations. I've also learned that I don't like the Florida water. Uh -huh. So every time I drink water, I drink it out of a water bottle. Any chance that you can show the fam our little cute um, fridge in the garage yeah. while you have a bottle of water? <laughs> All right, so my mother is the cutest woman in the whole wide world, and she has cute things. This is one of her cute things she has. This is in the... Um, garage and it's like this cute little it's a little like old-fashioned refrigerator it's the cutest thing ever and this is where we keep the extra water Katie wants a water check done here you are sweetheart did you show them the water the cool the cool fridge I, I did show them the I cool fridge so thank you you're welcome I just flipped that so perfectly I was talking about how it, um, my mom is the cutest woman in the world and she even has a cute refrigerator no she literally is <laughs> she literally is. I'm not even kidding. She's the cutest person I've ever seen ever. We miss Nana. Hopefully we get to see her soon. Hey, we do miss Nana. Well, the good news is, actually, we should tell everybody, you know what? We're going to go, we always go every year to New Jersey for Memorial Day weekend to the Jersey Shore. <gasps> You've definitely, if you've been watching for a little bit, you've definitely seen, um... This is Nick and Carly and Tommy. Yes. Our cousins, their house. You've definitely seen their house in New Jersey, and it's beautiful, but they're renovating it and making it bigger. It's going to be so exciting. Anyways, it's, it's almost really done. And Aunt Wendy, who owns the house, her birthday's next weekend, and I think they're moving in next weekend on her birthday, which is so exciting. Yay! All right, so we're going to be doing that. So we'll be okay, going fun. from here. I don't know if we're going from here to home. We'll have to talk about that when we're... <gasps> no! 
when we're going home. So stay tuned for that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, why is it scooping? <laughs> what are you doing? Just bowling. Yeah. How about you? Well, I was just in the pool for a little bit. I'm having a bit of a relaxing day. And how about you? Did you lose to your brother six times? In the clash royale. Listen, I had him beat up. I had him against the ropes. He had zero damage on my towers. I already had a tower gone. I was working on the next one. And then I was like, you know what? I'll ease off a little bit. Let him, you know, let him. Catch up a little bit. It happened six times, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, yeah, he, he beat me. But he has the stupidest deck ever. And then I tried to copy his deck, and then <laughs> I lost. I also understand he beat you in Madden earlier today. <laughs> Ryan doesn't want to talk about the Madden. Um, Nick, they're just running. Destroy. Oh. You saw destroy. <laughs> Let's chill out on I that. I think you might have gotten destroyed. I'm sorry, Ryan. <laughs> The wrestling because this is what happened. It's hard as I know. Yeah. He's trying to <laughs> I think I Ryan was say. down or Brennan was down. Okay. I was down 14 to 35. You wanna know you wanna know what happened? I was the Niners. I was pulling on him, dude. And I just started toying with him and like let him <laughs> It was 14 to 35 in the fourth quarter with 236 left. I scored a touchdown, onside kick, didn't get the onside kick. Pick six so now it's 28, 28 to 36. And then uh, onside kick, recover, 80 yard bomb, touchdown, straps, no score for him. I win 36 35. Best comeback ever. Anything to say about that? Do you want to hear, uh, Anything to say about that? You want to hear what actually happened? Yes, what, what actually I was happened. dogging on him. 34 to like, 7, and then he gets a touchdown. I'm like, all right. And I'll start like toying with him because, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not that kind of brother that would just keep scoring. Okay, yeah, exactly. And then, so right one of my favorite plays was just RPO picks on bubble. The guy runs around you, you can either throw it at him or hit it off. I saw him creep in on the guy because it's a memorable play. And then he goes, and I still throw it to him for laughs. And then he picks it up <laughs> and, and gets in the end zone. Okay, that's totally fine. And then I kind of lost track. And then Brennan had, like, one good drive, and he thinks he's, like, insane now. He's like, oh, I'm Mr. Madden. <laughs> Dude, stop, stop on Anyway, um, because I'm trying to go golfing, so, yeah. All right, get all your junk. I'll take you over. Are your brother going to, wait, you, Brendan has a few, um, he has a little water polo video he wanted to film oh first. Oh my gosh, water polo video, smaller polo video. Smaller polo video? <laughs> I think I should go out and do that, that now? Yes. All right, yeah. if you guys haven't seen, take a look at Brendan's channel. It's uh -huh. over. Also, comment below yeah. if uh, you, we, you hear us talk about our Madden games a lot. Comment below if you'd like to see any of them. Recorded yeah. on my channel. Because like, yeah, yeah, because like that that would be so funny. <laughs> we just we like laugh at men so hard and then it gets serious. Yeah. And that's the juicy stuff. Anyway. <laughs> that's right. You guys are good at this. Anyway. Alright, here we go. Adios. So dad has um declared that we he wants to watch It's a Wonderful Life while we're down here. And he every night he says, Can we watch it? Can we watch it? We say, No, no, no. So tonight is the night. He, we promised him that before the end of the weekend, we would have It's a Wonderful Life. Mike, what time is that going to start? It's a Wonderful Life! Um, That's not how it goes. <laughs> There's actually not even a song. <laughs> uh, what time is that going to start, Mike? Uh, we should. Okay. Well, in the meantime, Ryan and I are starting another puzzle. I don't know if you guys saw the other video where we did a puzzle. This will be our second puzzle, but this time, it's... I'm going to turn this upside down. A thousand pieces. We last, time. From, uh, last time it was 500 pieces. Yes, and now um, it's a thousand. So um, I got an ice cream, by the way. And we're about to pour. We finished what we could of the outside. We're missing a couple of pieces. So we're going to pour this all in. Oh, nice. Oh, no. That's like 909, probably 900 and, no, maybe 800 pieces. Or 850 pieces. Do you think pieces. it's 200? I don't know, not 200. So maybe oh, yeah. 900 pieces. Maybe. Oh, that goes there somewhere. Anyway. Fantastic. Um, a lot of these are, we need to turn a lot of these over. I know. All right, oh you guys, we'll check in with you. Oh, yeah. All right, we're having an ice cream fight right now. First of all, you're not allowed to take ice cream into the rooms. 
Second of all, you don't eat it out of the container, Brennan. Bro, she's gonna scoop all of it herself. Aww. Uh, well, there's like two things oh left. Oh my gosh. Stop! <laughs> Careful. Careful. I worked all, right. all day. So this is it. This is the deal. Ryan just ate all the vanilla. No, he didn't actually. He put some right? Vanilla. Brennan, but you don't like the vanilla. Oh. Wow, I just got shushed. And so you guys are wondering why we've been here so long. First of all, we talked in the beginning of the video about why we came down here, but why we've been here so long. Well, we've been here so long because um, when we came down here, I, I can't even get all my dates straight, but anyway, shortly after that was lockdown and then no unnecessary travel and this, that, and the other. So to go home would have been still necessary travel, I think, but we thought instead of driving all that way and things are going fine down here and it's beautiful and sunny and we can't see our friends anyway we could do work from here we could do school work from here nan and pep still aren't here they're in pennsylvania so they're like please can you stay and take care of our house okay so we did so now we're just trying Don't to decide to for us. i know <laughs> and it's been nice being as a family down here um but we're trying to decide when it's time to go home like when is it like when when should we go home right? right so nan and pap i'm not sure when they're coming back um i would guess i don't know i don't know when they're coming back so we'll definitely go back before they come back but um we're just trying to decide right now because we definitely miss the kitties a lot and but everything we can do we can do from here and this state so florida is starting to open back up and our state where we live at home maryland is not opening back up and you know some people are thinking oh it's okay to go out and eat and some people are thinking no it's not okay to go out and get stuff to uh, plus the fact the kids have to take their ap exams and they can take them from down here but katie's ap exam is going to be a week from monday a week from tomorrow baby girl and then you are done with ap will you still have to take class and do homework and stuff you don't know i don't know all right so anyway that's why we're still here so we are using our time wisely katie was doing some work today ryan not some so work much. you did not a say lot of work you did a lot katie did a lot of work today. today i yeah. literally spent my whole day working and when i tell you like i i i did like i just finished working the only time we took a break was i ate cereal once and i uh, learned to tiktok dance <laughs> hey you want to show us no Hey, Roy, will you please yeah. teach us the TikTok dance? I think we should do family, the family should learn a TikTok dance. I disagree. You do? Why? Comment down below, you guys. Do you think we should learn a TikTok dance? I yeah, think that it'd be was fun. the family musical. Like, really stupid. Really I literally. <laughs> that was really, really fun. I really like so that. Fun. All right, you guys. So won. I won. That's probably why I liked it. That's why Katie didn't like it. The Christmas one, I should have won that. Dude. I know. You did a nice job with that one. Yeah, we you did, did the Elton twice. John song, I think. <laughs> That's awesome. We did it twice. All right, Kate, you said you didn't want to help us with the puzzle. What? You said you didn't want to help us with the puzzle. Well, I was also in the middle of doing my schoolwork, and I happened to be really good at puzzles, and you guys need me. Would you like to pull up a chair? I'm happy um, to have you join us. Oh. Especially since Ryan decided to eat ice cream and only use one hand, so yeah. I had to turn all these pieces over. I did turn 900 pieces over. Here you go. Yeah, he's fake for that. Mm. What? I don't oh. think he thought of it when he started eating that he was gonna. No, I'm it not was gonna put us at a disadvantage in the puzzle I category. I really turned all of these over on my side. Mm-hmm. Nice. All right, we're checking back in. This is like a really so interesting. Isn't it cool? It's a good Where's one. Where's the? Oh. oh my gosh. They've made progress. We got progress there. We got progress there. We got progress there. We got all sorts of progress. I would say we are a third of the way done. Do you think, Kate? Really? Yeah. Look at. I'm saying like, a fifth. Just... Oh, really? Now nah, Ryan hasn't been helping us at all. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Ryan, we are so far ahead right now. It is exciting. You guys are doing some great work. Thank you. Katie very much. puts together a lot of stuff, then doesn't put it in. Because you can't put it in until you have... Yes, you can. Okay. And museum. Actually, yeah, with all this stuff in, I'd say you're fourth of the way done. Come around here. Uh-oh. Dang, you guys. What do you think? Wow. Really getting stuff done over here. Thank you. And we had to literally, like, say, okay, we have to quit. We have to quit. We have to quit. We have to quit. It took us, like, four or five times to actually quit because it's so addictive. It is. I it just is. really want to stay up and finish it, but I would have to go to Katie because I know that she wants to help me finish it. Guys, I have to go take a shower and go to sleep because I'm so tired. But I love you guys. 
so much. So what we made happening you? was getting all my work done and then doing the puzzle with mom. Nice. <laughs> Well, thanks for asking you guys. Um, what made me happy today was um, I just had kind of a chill Sunday. Um, we, uh, me and Brennan filmed our first Madden video that'll be up on his channel, uh, which is gonna be dope. And I started the puzzle with them, so at least I'm some kind of contributor. Um, and I turned to school things in today, which was oh, did great. You, did you finish that? You did? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mom. Yeah, well, maybe I have it. Okay, today was a day that I really didn't have much work to do, mm. and I specifically relaxed. I laid in the pool, and then I read my book. You read your book? I did. Wow. Do you know what I'm reading? I'll show you what I'm reading. Funny you should ask. Thanks for asking. <laughs> I am reading it's no. called The King's Curse. Mm. This is a series of books by Philippa Gregory, and it's um, it's guess... historical fiction. It's all about the the monarchy in England. And I've read like four monarchy. of them already and now I'm reading this one. Mom and, my mom and I are obsessed with like English monarchy. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really pretty um, cool. The guy they are the really, front of really this. mean back then. Yeah, the guy on the front of this, it, it's in, it, it, it's usually in that thing right below the TV mm -hmm. and it, the guy is always looking out and I always am like, She's yeah, 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 he just <laughs> stares at me. I always feel like, He's the creepy portrait on the wall, you know? He, he's definitely a creepy king. Yeah, he's, he's a creepy king. guy. Today, I would say I'm um, beating you in Madden uh, with my insane comeback. Oh, you're insane. Oh. Uh, also, what made me happy today was um, I finally got a foot rub from Brennan because of um, I beat him in Madden uh, a little bit ago. Um, and I finally made him pay up. For you my cashed life. in on your winning? Cashed in. Yeah. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, it, it was so fun spending today with you guys. Come with me, you guys have a good day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.